Hello guys, do I have to ask how you how you do feel? <laughs> are you doing? Uh, so yeah, how you doing guys? Um, same like um, the previous video. Great. Same yeah. like the previous video, I see. So that's why I asked at the first, do I have to ask you how you've been doing, okay? So yeah, continue from the last, um, you know, topic in the previous video, we've talked about obesity, diet, and talk a little bit about mental illnesses and mental health uh, health illness, about anorexia, some depression and anxiety. So now we've we're going to talk about mental illnesses uh, deeply. So what can we do if our you know near people or near person our love our love people like have this um you know symptom syndromes. What do we do? So maybe let's start from the definition of mental illnesses. Shakila, maybe you can start first. Okay, so um, mental illnesses, or also we call it as mental health disorder, refers to a wide range of mental health conditions or disorders that affect your mood, thinking, and behavior. Examples of mental illnesses include depression, anxiety disorders, schizophrenia, eating disorder, and also addictive behaviors. I think addictive behaviors more like a drugaholic people or yeah. um, al alcoholic. So, to continue, many people have mental health concern from time to time. But a mental health co concern becomes a mental illness when ongoing signs and symptoms cause frequent stress and affect your ability to function. A mental illness can make you miserable and can cause problems in your daily life, such as at school or work or in relationships. In most, ca in most cases, symptoms can be managed with a combination of medication and talk to therapists. Uh, or we used to call it as psychotherapy. Yeah, that's all for me. Yeah, so I think we should talk about you know the signs and symptoms. If our our yeah. near people or person have these symptoms, or maybe ourselves. So maybe so these are examples of signs and symptoms. Feeling sad or down, you know like actually literally like feeling sad and even depressed us and they can confuse thinking or reduce ability to concentrate and our ability to concentrate is reduced and excessive fears or worries or extreme feelings of guilt there's people these people have often feeling guilt or maybe fears and worry and then extreme mood changes of highs and lows. This is more like bipolar, bipolar. And then withdrawal from friends and activities, significant tiredness, low energy, or problems sleeping, have difficulties in in sleeping. Like you know, what do we call it? What do we call it? Uh, uh, in, insomnia. Insomnia, yeah. In, insomnia. Oh, insomnia. Insomnia. Yeah. And after that, detachment from reality or delusions, paranoia or hallucinations. It's more like schizophrenia. Yeah. Inability to cope with daily problems or stress, trouble understanding and relating to station and to people and having difficulties to communicate. And then problems with alcohol or drug use, as what you said before, Shakila. Major changes in eating habits, it's more like eating disorder as what we said before in the previous video, like anorexia, bulimia, and etc. And then okay. excessive anger, hostility or violence, doing some violence and harassment, and even suicidal thinking. Yeah. So that is the signs of and symptoms. Mm. Okay. Maybe Mayan, Mayan? Do you want to add something? Uh, maybe I can. I want to add um, some data about the statistic about children's mental health. Yeah. Okay. 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 I found the facts about mental disorder. Uh, this is in the U.S. Children. I 
I don't. I'm not found the case in Indonesian. I think not yet. Okay, so uh, this article said ADHD. Uh, I'm sorry, ADHD. Uh, behavior problems, anxiety, anxiety, and depression are the most commonly diagnosed mental disorders in children, <clears throat> and 9.4% <clears throat> of children aged 2 until 17 years, approximately 6.1 million have received an ADHD diagnosis and okay. I think <clears throat> many children in the world have uh, some mental illness you know <clears throat> yeah yeah and even in this pandemic people lost their jobs and get stressed with some you know oh, yeah. um gain some money and even with family problems even you know some rape cases oh, increasing yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you know uh oh no continue uh, yeah no never mind <laughs> no i i want to say that there's a lot of types of mental illnesses maybe it's gonna be long so i think we could go uh. on I, I don't know, I forgot it. <laughs> Your movie, just go ahead. Just, okay. Um, so. so, um, speaking about cases that been through, to, to, and especially in our country during this pandemic, there's a lot of people who are losing their jobs, and there's a lot of rape either. So uh, maybe it could be one of the things that triggered people uh, with mental illnesses, or it could cause a mental illnesses. So I think we should really talk about the types of mental illnesses, maybe. Oh, yes. I think it's very important thing, you know. Yeah. Okay. So our friends or uh, the other people can know what the type of mental... Yeah, the type of mental illnesses. Yeah, the mental illness. Um... Maybe Shakira, go ahead. I think, okay. I think I'm about to <clears throat> mention few of mental illnesses. The first one is anxiety disorder, which is the common one. We can say it's a common one. And well, there's a lot of people who suffered anxiety. So people with anxiety disorder, they respond to certain objects or situation with fear or, or, or dread. As well as with physical signs of anxiety or panic, such as rapid heartbeat and sweating. An anxiety disorder is diagnosed if the person response is not appropriate uh, for the situation. If the person cannot control the response, or if the anxiety interferes with normal functioning, anxiety disorder includes general generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, uh, social anxiety disorder, and specific phobias. Yeah. Um. So besides anxiety, uh, we have OCD, obsessive compulsive mm. disorder. Mm. Yep. So people with OCD are plagued by constant thoughts or fears that cause them to perform certain rituals or routines. So maybe uh, some of uh, people who suffered OCD often think that if they wash uh, their hand only once, the bacteries inside it still, you know, still in, in their hands. So they did it over and over again to prevent anxiousness. Yeah. The disturbing thoughts are called obsession and the rituals are called compulsions. An example is a person with an unreasonable fear of germs, like I said before, who constantly wash their hands over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this one is one of the common, especially for a person who got raped, like we said before. Uh, PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. 
PTSD is a condition that can develop following a traumatic or terrifying event, such as sexual or physical assault, like rape, and the unexpected death of a loved one uh, or a natural disaster. And people with PTSD often have lasting or frightening thoughts and memories of the event and tend to be emotionally numb. So I think that's all I can say from types of mental illnesses. Yeah, for OCD, is, I think it's making some difficulties for the sufferer. Like, yeah. you know, even for going out from their home, they have to check like twice or maybe thrice like repeatedly. Yeah. For if, if they don't do that, it gets anxiety for them and even for mm -hmm. arranging some things in their house in their house like arrange on their self some books or anything it was like taking so long time because yeah, it, it needs to be perfect yeah it needs to be perfect and you know some of the OCD uh people prevent searching from someone because they're scared of the germs that someone brings to them um, yeah I've uh, never heard that. Guys, I wanna yeah. ask, uh, is the OCD people and the perfectionist people is different or look it's like It's actually familiar? different. It's actually oh, different. Okay. Like if perfectionist people who like something or must done perfect perfectly, if the, the um, things that they think they thought that it's just perfect, then that's it but if for the ocd one even though it's just perfect it has it is perfected they have to you know doing it repeatedly again even though what will look is just it, it's just perfect but they have to doing it repeatedly i ever watched a video on youtube that a student has lcd symptoms of course it's make is take her you know so long time to just write two lines of words because oh. she thought that, oh my God, no, it's not it. She erased it again, write it again, erase it again, write it again. Like even she needs like two hours just to write two lines of words. I see it. It's the, it's just like oh, okay. to satisfy the, the um, yeah, illness. to satisfy, yeah, to satisfy the, anxiety because if they don't do that it gives them you know panic and anxiety something like that uh, and but ocd isn't always the perfectionist one yeah. but also there's a lot of drive which is i think it's called what is it called oh well the conclusion is the people who think about hurting someone or hurting themselves they're scared of going out because they're scared of being uh, yeah. they're scared of being a threat or someone i think it's one of part of the oc uh -huh. yeah okay I uh, uh, yeah. uh i want to ask uh something okay oh <laughs> <laughs> is he... <laughs> what There's happened to the children is play okay uh in front of my house okay, <laughs> okay. like uh uh when we should go to the doctor uh if we feel uh un unhealth or we uh find any sign or symptoms of illness i think of course uh we cannot do self diagnose by Ourselves, the yeah. yep. online website <laughs> mm -hmm. because I've seen uh, the teenager in social media uh, she claimed uh, yeah. she yeah, yeah. yeah oh my god I uh, have a bipolar but <laughs> when the people ask her she showed the what's that mm, reports she showed the yeah reports from online the website, yeah, yeah, from the online website. So, I think it's like this, Maya. Dental illnesses is very complicated. So many factors that can influence of um, mental illnesses. For the example, like post-traumatic disorder, like what Shakila said before, it because because of you know some the past that happened 
maybe disaster or maybe losing of uh, you know our loved people and some traumatic like getting raped or assault anything like that so actually so many factors can um influence mental health illnesses so i think that it couldn't be done with just some online reports and online checking so if we feel that we have i think we, we absolutely know if something's wrong happened to us and i think people there us also will you know realize that something wrong happened to us and i think there's something wrong with us so to i think actually there's no sure way how to prevent mental illnesses mm -hmm. but i think we gotta get help when we need it and take good care of ourselves and then how when we have to go to the doctor yeah. we have to pay attention to the warning signs as what i said before i tell i told you about the signs that well uh, one of the signs that can cause and leads to mental illnesses if we think that it can lead to some extreme or maybe more complicated uh, illnesses we gotta go to the doctor to check it you know correctly and knowing more mm -hmm. about what's wrong with our body i think that's it yeah you? and uh, for some people Whoa, they nice felt team. really proud by self-diagnosing themselves like yeah hey look i have anxiety i'm proud of it but then the real anxiety yeah. people suffered unwanted things that just they felt they cannot even sleep yeah. normally and they suffered lots yeah. of anxious like you know um I've ever felt, I, I, I also ever felt anxiety. I mean, I'm not diagnosing myself, but people often felt anxiety at several moments. You know, like we're over, we're such an overthinker. And then I just, I don't know. It's just um, really, it's, it's the things that we didn't even want it in life. So we cannot sleep, we cannot eat. We just want it to be in our own and we cannot even tell other people because of the stigma. Uh, yeah, fighting a stigma is the hardest thing that I probably share that mo mental illness people suffered. Yeah. Yeah, I think that people on social media talks that mental illness is such a trend, a trend and mm -hmm. just, you know, just following. And they thought that mental illnesses is not true. Like there's nothing, uh, something called like mental illnesses or depression. It's just like, the way you just overthinking and something like that but actually it's it's real we have to educate people that mental illness is such an important things like even people near us our loved ones have some mental illnesses or maybe symptoms we don't know anything because like what you said before Shakila, if we feel anxiety and panics and depressed we cannot tell people like yeah for the stigma, they won't believe in us. Yeah, they won't believe in us. Yeah, like it's always told us like, uh, go on, sorry. Yeah, like it's the same with another people. We don't know about them too, so we gotta respect them and help them. If we know that uh, he got wrong, something wrong, or she got something wrong with her or him, like that. Yeah, but do you want to exactly. say again? Um, for some people, and especially the parents, Indonesian parents. I think we need to, I, I don't, I don't be, I'm not being too mean to being rude, but then for some parents, you just not open mind, opening their mind yet. So um, if their uh, children have the symptoms, they probably think that you should pray oftenly or you just yeah. need to, I see. Wow. just keep it together or just breathe. If you're having an anxiety, panic or whatever, you just breathe. But it's not as simple as that. The anxiety keeps with us 24 hours and we cannot control it. And the only way to uh, to just uh, escape it, it's just sleep, it's just having a sleep. And, and I know that the sleep symptoms that mental illnesses people had, it's not as normal as we are. So I think the stigma of people, we just need to educate them because there's so lots of people who've suffered in, uh, several uh, symptoms like this, but haven't got any help yet. So I think we just need to educate the parents, also the people stigma. Yeah. 
yeah. yeah. So in the situation like we couldn't believe anyone. We just have mm-hmm. to trust ourselves and take good care of ourselves. Because you know the stigma in Indonesia, I think. Yeah, which is really hard to fight it. <laughs> yeah, oh for God. the parents, you know, they thought that yeah. the 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 older generation is the same with the the present generation. Oh, exactly. Yeah, I ever felt that. <laughs> yeah, because it's actually really different the way how we live, the way how we live with our social media, our technology, and about how people think is really different with the older generation. But some parents. Mm, mostly some parents even often think and thought that it's just the same that you has you just less pray and you just have to yeah. pray more or something like that but actually just more complicated so yeah you just have to trust ourselves and you know actually people uh, people don't know what we suffered if you don't tell them yeah. we gotta more be open with our friends or people that we believe can take good care of our, our of us we gotta open ourselves and tell about our problems to people that we believed of course because in the situation we can we couldn't believe anyone like anyone can you know tell our stories to our secrets to anyone it's it's a pity for me like yeah you know that um when uh when it's children you know that in this era in this time there's a lot of children who suffered mm, several mental illnesses but yeah. uh, they haven't diagnosed yet with the doctors so don't so they haven't got any um therapies that they they, they, they need so um and then when they try to tell their parents the parents just said oh okay you're you know, like i said before you just need to pray or some parents thought that if we went to if we go to the psychiatrist or psychologue we might be crazy yeah so mm. it's a stigma that we really really need to educate to people and i really hope that in this conversation we just we, we could educate because you know mental illness is real and we can even see we cannot even see it with our and with our bare eyes we cannot because most people who suffered there that kind of illness um, but then doesn't get any help. They ended up um, killing themselves, hanging themselves because they don't have any hope. Oh, so, yeah, it's just pity. I'm just sad to yeah. see the people like that. So thinking uh-huh. about stigma that people more <laughs> people who has depression, people often say that, oh my gosh, she's crazy. Just yeah, sorry. It's, that. It's so <laughs> I think that lucky for us, lucky for us that we all know about mental illnesses, mental illness, education about mental, that I afraid that people, some things, some adolescents or even children that have, you know, some mental illnesses, but didn't know what to do, didn't know how to tell people that they have some something wrong with their own body and they don't know what to do. It's such, you know, I think that, uh, you know, there's a uh, that counseling guide guidance or as we call it being and counseling in our school i think oh, that yeah. i think that yeah. if we we use it correctly and like it yeah <laughs> i don't know what to say <laughs> but still uh, for, I think, in my opinion oh, i'm sorry go on my yeah, so, yeah i think uh the counseling yeah the counseling in our in School so, in Indonesia, yeah. actually, yeah. They don't take it seriously. Uh, it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the don't work like yeah. normal. Do you know? It yeah. Used to, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, sometimes their counseling teacher is not from the psychologue uh, yeah. major, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. from another major. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, it will be com- uh, more complicated. Uh, yeah, we so, because, talk yeah, with you're... counselor in <laughs> because the uh, stigma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, you know, like when we go to the um um what you call it um guidance, what you call it counseling Beka guidance. And, uh, yeah, counseling guidance in our school. These students thought that we got into a trouble yeah we're not we just wanted to talk to them we just want to share our 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 things 
yeah. privately because we don't have any other people to talk to. Yeah, I mean, it's that simple. We we didn't even get any troubles. Why do you think we get that? Yeah, people right. have to respect another people. That I think that I feel that mental health illnesses, education about mental illness and, and mental health illnesses must be done in the school. Like, what if the children, like the, the children feels anxiety but having to help. There's no people to help oh, yeah. her or him. It's a pity, you know, thinking about it. I'm, I'm pretty sad thinking about children that, and there's, um, yeah, uh, you know, a girl that suicide at, you know, 15 years old, such a young age, because she feel de- depressed because of, you know, some <laughs> assignments. She, oh my God. Oh, yeah. She, and, couldn't, she uh, couldn't even control herself and didn't know what to do, didn't know what to tell people. It's pretty sad to think about it. I might cry to think about it because it's pretty sad. I think that mental health illnesses and mental illnesses must be done in the school, must be part of our education and must be done in our curriculum because it's really important, but people don't take it seriously. I'm pretty sick of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Do, do you know the case of uh, a girl who suicide because uh, she has uh, broken heart. Yeah, broken yeah, heart. Broke up with uh, her boyfriend and yeah. you know the uh, girl um, who killed her neighbor uh, and uh, her neighbor is just a uh, little kids. No, I think I've heard that one. Yeah, uh, this case is uh, happened in Jakarta, you know? Mm, yeah, I've heard that. and it's caused because uh, this girl is raped by her uncle. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not me. Yeah. Oh <laughs> I might cry, you know? And um, I'll she feels stress and depression. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sucks that those kind of people still got the ability. I mean, the raper, yeah, still got the ability to live, but the victim doesn't have any ability to live. They're just oh my god, it's pretty. Like (laughs) the Audi city, the Audi city, the braveness of the raper to just breathe the oxygen in this earth, like. How dare you? You write a girl. You write with them. Oh, I guess I'm, I, I, oh my god! I almost swear. I almost cursed. Oh, Ooh, I'm really sick of it. Uh, you know, like, um, we're talking about this. I'm really happy this topic could yeah. could brings all the warnings to, to people. It's just to educate people. I hope that um we could really really educate our uh people like our parents or in the school and yeah we just need them to know that it, it is real yeah just yeah. don't play with mental illnesses oh my god uh, uh yeah guys uh i think why a uh, girl is most uh wait how to say it uh why girl is mm-hmm have a uh, case rate more than the boy oh. ah, in bigger. mental bigger. illness yeah bigger uh-huh. because uh, I real uh, was the boy case in mental uh, mental illness is yeah, yeah. Real, low uh, yeah, Lower. very low and rarely well actually my aunt is one of our hormonal oh yeah especially oh, yeah. in period time. Oh, it's one of our yeah, hormonal. I, I mean, I mean that woman that feels more emotional than the man, and fragile. Oh. Yeah, and fragile, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yeah, you know that woman can easily cry than the boys than the men. Yeah, that's part oh, one yeah. of it. It's one of our hormonal. That's why the percentage of a uh, woman who got mental illness is higher than the men. Because it's, you know, the first case that woman is the most people that get raped than the men, of course. Yeah, yeah. This one oh, of, yeah. Yeah, so, and the second, cyberbullying. 
The woman yeah, often exactly gets cyberbullying because what? Because obesity. That's what we said before in yes. the previous in the previous topic. Obesity, and then the third, they feel that insecure. Maybe they feel uh, ugly or unconfident. Ew, yeah. The beauty stigma. The beauty stigma. The beauty stigma. The beauty stigma. Oh, oh my Ugh. god, it's hard. <laughs> It is standard, especially in this country. Can you imagine being like yeah. kind of person that just, you just we just want it to be appreciated, and we just yeah we just wanted that. This is too hard. And even racism can lead yeah, right. to exactly. mental illnesses, like the the, the um yeah the the racist between the beautiful one and then oh, I and sorry, the, yeah. lady yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I think. Uh, when the girl has uh, some problem, they only can crying and uh, yeah. tell their problem to their friends or their parents or give themselves. And uh, when the boy have some problem, maybe uh, maybe he can forget it. Yeah. Uh, or, or if uh, the boy have problem with other boy maybe they can end the problem with fight yeah yeah i yeah. think yeah because woman is just more emotionally emotionally yeah, exactly. okay. Okay. Yeah. I get and the point. most 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 people got no one to tell their problems that's why we Wrong, gotta yeah. yeah we gotta you know initiative be initiative and help people who needs our help at that i think yeah uh, now guys yeah, i think yeah our the timer time yeah that's, that's why <laughs> therefore therefore yeah. i want to i want to tell you guys how if what to do if you got any anxiety or maybe mental illnesses so the first you can call the hotline from uh, the ministry of healthiness of soul healthiness oh, yeah. mental healthiness the hotline is zero two one five zero zero four five four oh, okay. and uh, maybe uh, we can write the number yeah, in yeah. the video description, description. Box. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and the second is into okay. the like into the like is community that oh the community community yeah for the mental illnesses and the right for and racism and stigma and you can open their cities like into the lights id.wordpress.com and lsm jangan bunuh diri don't suicide oh, okay. <laughs> yeah and the don't hotline suicide. is zero two one nine six nine six nine two nine three i think that's all we should put it down below. Yeah, we should put it down <laughs> below on the description yeah. so uh guys i hope uh we and our family and our friends and our love is kept away from the mental illness yeah. and we keep healthy and yeah like a normal people and when we have some problems just say it to your trusted people hopefully yeah, yeah. hopefully <laughs> I think that um, what we have to do is looking for someone that can help us and be more open to someone to solve our problems and then look for some help with some expert like psychiatrists or maybe psychologues. And don't uh, self-diagnose. Yeah, do not not self-diagnose. Yeah, Uh do not harm yourself. Uh, Self-harming. Oh, oh my god, yeah. I missed that topic. Yeah, oh, I guess the time. Oh my god, uh, but the, our time is limited. Our time is limited. I, okay, okay, okay. I've, yeah, I've heard uh, the barcode. Do you know? <laughs> barcode for what? Yeah, uh, people uh, who do the self harming call is barcode in, in their hand. Do you know? Ah, oh, yeah. cars. They're, it's like cars. Uh, yeah, they make. Oh, they just some, draw some, uh, you know, butterfly, butterfly, yeah. draw some butterfly, oh. so they cannot yeah. hurt themselves if the butterfly draws still there. Like it's just one of the part of how to heal themselves. 
So I think that's all for today. Less than one minute. Yeah. So what is our quote of the day? Um, oh, yeah, love you, yourselves. Yeah, love yourself. And you have any things that you cannot even handle, just tell everyone else. Don't be scared of that. Mm -hmm. So our quote okay. of today is looking for some help with your trusted person and love yourself. That's all for today. I think want to add something? Okay. Less than one minute. Wanna... <laughs> yep. Less than one minute. So it's this connected again and again. Okay, yeah. Okay. So maybe uh, that's yeah, all. Want to say something more, or oh, maybe just close uh, it? Mayan yeah. want to add something. Okay. Uh, I want add uh one sentence. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the closing statement from me is, "Don't forget to love yourself, and I love you all." I love you all, guys. <laughs> It's such an interesting topic. I love this topic. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this so yeah, yeah. much. So maybe Shakila wanna add something? Um, that's it. I think uh, a little bit about self harm, maybe. Yeah. Uh, just don't hurt yourself if you're feeling something. Just call anyone that you trust, or if you don't have anyone, just call the contact. Uh, what you call it? A hotline. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of platform who, um, uh, have a psychologue. Uh, chat you could uh, access it for free um, maybe we should put it down below I, yeah. I use, uh, okay. some um so yeah uh, so the uh, just don't hurt yourself because yeah. it's not worth it you worth enough for life it's just yeah I think that's oh, all for me about uh, self-harm uh, to all the girl in the world <laughs> when you're feeling hurt don't hurt the other boy <laughs> so <you're strange. laughs> because, okay. uh, boy is half her too <laughs> <laughs> yeah mayan woman is such a melancholy creature yeah. <laughs> yes okay <laughs> like, maybe do it um, all, yeah? yeah so for okay. me for you guys who, who thought that you don't have anyone just think that they don't deserve you you deserve more you deserve oh, anything no, in this no. world you deserve yeah. anything. It is more than you thought. Okay. So please, and for us who who have some, you know, our close person have some problems with their themselves, please help them, guys. Please help them. Lend your hand. Just, Lend your yeah. hand. Just help them. I think that's all for today. I hope I hope okay. this topic really educate people and yes. help you guys. To yeah. understand more about mental illnesses, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Maybe we're not some expert, and you don't know any and spe specifically some mistakes. Yeah, some, yeah. some mistakes. I'm sorry for that because it's such a sensitive topic. So I yes. think that's all yeah. for today. Thank you, guys. Uh, okay, thank you, and yeah? don't forget to like, subscribe, and <laughs> share. Still, our still okay, yeah. still okay. Uh, don't forget to add the number. Okay, the hotline I will number. put it. Okay on the description yeah. box maybe uh, there's people who need this number yeah mm -hmm. okay. okay i think that's okay. all thank you guys it's such a very very interesting topic see you in the next meeting bye bye see you bye